City of Erie is seeking a way to quicken the process of code enforcement. Ron Hilliard now with more on why some people are concerned about fairness. Ron. Jill, the city of Erie is proposing a plan that would fight blight, but some people are wondering if it could be a double-edged sword. It's called Quality of Life Ticketing Program. The proposed program would allow the City of Erie Office of Code Enforcement a faster way to ticket and collect fines for existing violations without having to go through the courts. Most of the 41 violations will result in a $25 fine. Upon first read at Erie City Council Wednesday, Councilwoman Kathy Schaub gave the only no vote, saying that even she might fall guilty of existing violations, like not being able to shovel her sidewalk within three hours of a snowstorm ending. Meanwhile, an Erie tenant wants assurance that ticketing will be fair. I don't think it's an overreach. Um, I think that it might disproportionately affect people in impoverished areas of town rather than uh, blight on the west side. Councilman Bob Mercy says that the measure would address violations that are already on the books like wheat and tall grass. So nothing's changed in terms of the ordinances that are being enforced. The only thing that's changed is the enforcement mechanism. Mertzke says this kind of program is working in other cities of similar size. Uh, it's been effective in reducing blight. It's been recommended by this, the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania in their Fight Blight book, and um, it's something that I think we need. And uh, we have to give new things a try. We can't do the status quo. When a place is in really bad shape, those are the ones we're especially going to go after first and write those tickets and, and hopefully move things forward. And usually, and I think we'll continue to give a warning first before a ticket's written. If they can address the problem and correct it, they'll be fine. Under this proposed program, if a person does not pay the ticket, then it could still go forward to court, as is the process now. This ordinance, or this proposed ordinance, will go before the council once again for a second reading coming up Wednesday, October 17th. Jill? Okay, Ron Hilliard, thank you.